Welcome back to Lego Jurassic World, all dinos, and basically what we'll be doing is I'll be showing you all the small dinosaurs. And of course, these are probably my favorites because you can also play with these dinosaurs in free play modes for any level. And um, so yeah, uh, I will be showing off the baby dinosaurs if I can, if not, I will be showing them off in a separate video. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to show off the Velociraptor, the first of the many awesomes. And of course, Velociraptor means Swift Caesar in Latin, and you can unlock this dinosaur at Restoring Power. And of course, it's Mini Kit Collection, I believe. Yes, it'd be called a collection. And of course, you can see many differences between the customized and the normal version. This one can basically be found, I believe, in the first and second uh, Jurassic Park movies. And I believe the third shows a lot different design. And the fourth, I believe, shows these awesome dinosaurs. Blue, Charlie, Echo, and Delta. Um, I love the designs on these characters. These characters can also be found in your nearest Lego, I believe Target or Walmart, or really any toy section. Um, but really, the Lego, I, really, this is, I'm sorry, but there is one thing that pet peeves me about this dinosaur. It's not that there's no sharp teeth. It's not that, of course, it looks very much bigger than uh, what it would actually look like. But, the middle toe, it just, it's annoying me. The middle toe, it just, it's supposed to be on the inside of the feet. It just, I don't know why, it's just, whenever I draw a dinosaur with, like, wrong features, it just annoys me a lot. Sorry about that. But I will be showing off, of course, what the Velociraptor can do. The Velociraptor can sniff around little fuming areas. Um, really, any Velociraptor can can do it. Um, really, there's a lot of differences. Of course, Vanessa has the head of Tyrannosaurus Rex, the body of Spinosaurus, and the tail of Dimorphodon, plus an entirely different color scheme. So I believe that's really it. So now on to the Dilophosaurus, also known as Double Crested Lizard, and you can unlock this dinosaur at Park Shutdown. I like the design on this character because it has a few cool highlights because it's not just all green and light green, but it's also, you know, different textures and colors. Basically what this dinosaur can do is he can spit acid um, to, to really, I believe, far distances, not really any distance, but far distances, and I'll show you how to. If you have Xbox 360, basically all you need to do is you can hold X and just shoot. I believe X is just really all of the special moves for the dinosaurs. And I'll show you, um, my custom version. I just really, for most of these dinosaurs, I went basic, except for Vanessa. Um, basically as head of Dilophosaurus, body of Spinosaurus, and tail of Dimorphodon. So really, they look fairly similar. Except for color scheme and the heads, but still. Now to show off the Gallimimus. Um, I believe this one can be found in the first movie as a stampede. And, uh, Gal Minus means chicken and or rooster mimic, and you can unlock this guy on the prologue. He looks pretty cool, I must say. Um, texture of the actual dinosaur, fairly cool. Skeletal version, um, head's a little bigger, but, you know. I like how the tail's kind of pointing upwards instead of downwards, like all the other dinosaurs. And, um, he basically has wide, like, not too wide turns, but slightly wide turns if you don't turn it too quickly. Um, but yeah, now for my customized version. Um, my custom isn't too good. I just randomly threw stuff together. It's actually taller, or about as tall as the Velociraptor. Uh, you know, including horns. But besides that, yeah. Um, so basically, you know, tail of Stegosaurus, body of Stegosaurus, and head of Triceratops. And really, I'll only be telling, I don't think really Gallimimus and Tro and uh, Trodon really have many important jobs. Compsognathus. Let's check this guy out. Compsognathus, also known as Delicate Jaw, can be unlocked in the InGen Arrival. And of course, it's the smallest dinosaur. But really not the smallest dinosaur. The smallest dinosaur is the Microraptor. Um, which is about three to four pounds. My god, that's lighter than my art profile. But I'm chill. But basically, he's about, I'd say, one-third the height of a Velociraptor. And let me show you the, um, skeletal version. Fairly cool. 
how the cat has like a little under jaw to make it look distinct. It basically looks a lot like Velociraptor except without middle claw and a lot smaller I must say. So I'll show you off the um, custom. This one I actually did like to customize because look at it. It's just so cute. It basically has, has head of Spinosaurus, body of Spinosaurus, and tail of Stegosaurus because I wanted it to look a little bit fierce because of its tiny exterior. Um, so now to Trodon. Let's check out this Trodon dude. Trodon, also known as Wounding Teeth, or Tooth, can be unlocked at the breeding facility. Um, they do really just look like flamingos. I'm sorry, he just really does. Except for, like, a little less bent beak. And or snout. Um, so let's check out the skeletal version of this guy. The skeletal version, um, basically looks a lot like the, um, Gallimimus. I suppose since they're both theropods, and of course they're both, I believe, omnivores? Uh, I believe they're omnivores. If not, I'm sorry. I'll put that probably in a little caption. And let's check out the, um, customized. Customized, I just thought of blue from, um, World of Imaginary Friends. Ooh, six minutes. We have a lot of time, actually. Um... Basically, tail of Stegosaurus, body of Spinosaurus, and head of Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I will be showing off Tyrannosaurus Rex and all the other uh, different abilities that most of the dinosaurs have. Calamimus and uh, Troodon don't really have any special ability besides looking pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, go on and show the Pappy Cephalosaurus, I believe, yes. Um, Basically, with these dinosaurs, if you hold X, you can actually headbutt, or really any action butt. So, I kind of like the blue highlights. Blue highlights are pretty cool. Let's check out the skeletal version. I think the skeletal version looks pretty goofy. I'm sorry, it just really does to me. Like, there are barely any toes, which is kind of hilarious. Um, it looks like a huge- it's like- it kind of looks like a- Kind of like a dragon, except with wing without wings. Like, it just has those little spines on the body. And really huge eye sockets. Pretty big. Yeah. So I'll show you my um, custom one. And I believe we actually have enough time to show off the babies. Um, basically, uh, really, no matter what head you get, you will be able to headbutt. I will show you. And actually, it looks like he moves a little faster than the default one. Um... Basically, really, if you change the head of the Pachycephalosaurus, really all you're changing is kind of the texture of the dome. And let's see, Pachycephalosaurus, everybody. Thick head, also known as Thick Head Lizard, and you can unlock this one in the Hunted. I believe that one is in the, um, what is it, second movie? And or, I, yeah, I think it's just different worlds, maybe different movies, worlds, I suppose. So, Tail of Ankylosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs, besides Velociraptor and, of course, Indominus Rex. And Body Spinosaurus and Head of uh, Spinosaurus, I believe, too. And I'm just calling it White, white Tigress, because I think it looks like a White Tigress. Now to show off the babies. The babies don't have too many abilities, they're just there for show. Uh, you don't need mini kits for these guys, you don't need Ambers. Really, you just unlock them as individual characters from different movies. Really, the only attack that this guy can do is like a head butt somersault, I suppose. It does make pretty cute noise though. So cute. Um, let's check out the check out the Triceratops baby. Um, basically most of the babies can do what their parents do, I suppose. This one can headbutt and tail swing. Try not to hit Vanessa here. This one can basically adorable stomp. Adorable Stomp. It's like a it's like a Pokemon. Adorable Stomp. Go. So cute. Now for Tyrannosaurus Rex, I believe is in the second movie, The Lost World. Um, basically, it can do most of the things that the adults can do. It can do the exact same attacks except for roaring. It's just there to be incredibly adorable. Except for the are the eyes. What's with the what's with the eyes? It's just, are they supposed to look like that? They have such small pupils. It's, it's a little terrifying. Um, but you know, dinosaurs, I guess. Cause look, in on the picture, he has huge eye eyes. But I guess this is some kind of glitch. Cool, I saw. I found a glitch. Glitch, awesome. 
So now for the final baby, baby Stegosaurus. Uh, I believe this one you can unlock in again the second game. I believe really the only one that you can unlock in the first and second game is the or the first game you can unlock. I believe baby Triceratops and baby Velociraptor in the second game and or second film you can unlock Stegosaurus and um, was it Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that's all for this episode, or a little part. I'll see you all in the next part, and um, yeah, if my camera would stop glitching out. I'll see you all in the next part, and of course the volume will be lowered, thankfully. So don't worry, headphone users, you'll be okay. I will see you all later.